It's winter, and it's cold. Not a good place for humans, or this human at least. But there are birds out there to be found. Let's brave the cold and see what birds we can find. The winter landscape is desolate. Snow, barren trees, frozen water. But there are signs of life. Some squirrels were out looking for food, and some were resting. The lack of leaves makes it easier to spot birds. Gloves make it harder to record them. My camera thought the stick was more interesting. This was a black-capped chickadee. And another unexpected challenge. It's too cold to flip through a field guide. I'm just recording footage of birds and hopefully we can identify them later. It's really cold, gotta keep those gloves on. We're trying to avoid scaring birds because this is their most difficult season. They might barely be finding enough food and we don't want them to fly just because of us. But an amazing benefit, it is so quiet. You can hear everything. Another way to find birds is to go down near water. There are probably migrating birds who have come down from closer to the pole who think that your area is warm compared to where they came from. Two days later, it was way warmer. Like, 40 degrees instead of 20. A huge mixed-species flock was in a pond, including mallard ducks. A Canada goose. And some ringed-billed gulls. A northern cardinal caught the dawn light, and some American robins ate berries. We found all three species from the colder day. A blue jay, a black-capped chickadee, and even a song sparrow. On top of that, a pair of hairy woodpeckers was foraging for food. And then down in the river, a thousand gulls. and even some common golden eyes. I've got to say that looking down by the water was a great idea. I found a whole bunch of species, mostly just by standing in one spot and letting them come to me. It is cold though, I'd like to get back inside. A third way to find birds is to let them come to you. A clean, well-placed bird feeder can give birds much needed calories that they need to make it through the most difficult time of their year. You can watch my investigation on the benefits of feeding birds for more information. Going out and finding birds is great and all, but I'm going to do a different type of birding this season. Sitting down on the couch with a warm drink and a field guide. Thanks for joining me this week on an adventure to find winter birds. You can watch other birding videos on this channel and subscribe to know when a new video is spotted. Thanks for stopping by this week to learn what makes life awesome.